Enough for chat, let's get on with it. It's every man for himself. Oh boy, that's getting grippy. The big man was putting the hurt on. Hello and welcome back to another video and a week without any crit racing or road racing. What? Instead, this evening, we are going to join the Mossa Chain Gang World Championships. And that is my idea of absolute hell because chain gangs are on flat roads and they are full gas. So they suck. They hurt. But after my recent road race, I'm not going to preach that I'm some sort of expert after one. But I feel like that's the niche I should be aiming for. Like, yeah, I'm not like amazing at it, but I'm definitely better than crits and I felt more in my element racing a road race. So with that in mind, I'm doing a double training day today. I'm going to try and like sort of replicate the last hour of a race because I found that was the most important bit on Sunday's road race. Like who had the strongest legs in the last hour and who was just willing to suffer in that last hour. So I can't replicate it exactly, but the plan is to do like 90 minutes to two hours this morning, work, then chain gang tonight, so that I'll have a little bit of fatigue in the legs when I've got to go absolutely full numpty. So a little zone two spin, and then it'll be chain gang time. big boys out tonight we've got mr rascal ready to put the pain on cheeky rascal it's the race team tonight and look ollie i've you. made an effort tonight remember my pe kit <laughs> hey, hey no fines <laughs> nice big one. effort tonight i think that was what's, terrible, what's the it? yeah that it's was just a rocket laid it out on your bed for you depends when it's all clean <laughs> What's the deal tonight? Is it a non-drop one or is it every man for himself? Um, non-drop and then probably last lap we'll just split. Oh. It's every man for himself. Yeah, There's how many is there? Two, four, six, like... seven. Send it. Send it. <laughs> seven of us, plenty of wills for me to suck. You were doing anti-clockwise. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so the safe way to do it is the way we did it last week, oh, which, it, yeah, yeah, because otherwise you're pulling out yeah. off the front into unknown traffic behind yeah, you, right. Sorry, and you have yeah, to do yeah, a lifesaver. Yeah, yeah. We weren't doing set time either. We weren't doing like thirty seconds. We'd go straight through and then just come. Yeah, you're doing flat. straight. That's it. Yeah. Nice, <laughs> nice. <laughs> I thought Ollie was just going to sit on the front, do like a two-minute pull, and then I was going to come through, do a quick ten-second job. Problem, problem <laughs> with that. Problem with that is you spend too long hiding, don't you? You're yeah, that's what I want. <laughs> I'm right. gonna wait till Bagwell Lane and then I'll come to the front. <laughs> Enough chat, let's get on with it. Yeah, this this get was a bigger do. debrief than a road oh, race. Yeah. That was a hell of a brief. We've got no. I was wet. Keep going. Too late. I'll be at yeah. Max Art, right? He's been pulling out the camera, having a chat. Right, right, right. Right. And I've also been informed that you're allowed to just sit on if you want, so that should be nice. Here we go then, the Chain Gang World Championships, and I thought I'd do a little commentary over this rather than doing like a little bougie clip just to give you a better idea of what's going on etc and show you the course before it goes absolutely full whack and we're ripping each other's legs off so as you can see we're just rolling through anti-clockwise here keeping it nice and chilled first couple of laps trying to keep everyone together and as you heard them say probably before we'll try and keep it together for a couple of laps and then it is just every man for himself so I've tried to get the power as close as I can, but it's really awkward getting this. But basically you pull through, do a little turn, next guy comes through, then you're in the slipstream, keep rolling through, just absolutely burying each other basically, love it. But we'll have a little look at the course. So the main feature is we've got this long draggy section that we're on now terrible road surface rattles the absolute bones out of you but a good chance to just give it the berries down here we then come into this left hander this is my favorite bit of the whole circuit 
because it goes a little bit uphill and it's my chance to put the hurt on as best I can. So it ramps up this Bagwell Lane uh, little climb. It's nothing major, it's just like a gradual drag, but it's a good chance to put down some power and put people in some discomfort before you come down the other side. So it's a fast descent down the other side, so you get a good chance to recover before a couple of turns. It's got a little ramp here again, nothing major, but it's another chance to just give it some berries, put the hurt on before the last few corners. And then there's one more corner, which goes into another little, it's not really a climb, it's a drag up past this uh, train station before you get back onto that long draggy section. So we stayed together the first couple of laps and then once we got out, I'm going to skip it on now, I think we'll be on lap three and we've now dropped down from the original seven men, we're now at four men rolling through and the others just jump on the back and you can still get a bloody good workout on the back but this is when it starts to get a bit grippy so we're like three laps in you realize your rest isn't as much but i'm feeling even though i've done that two hour session in the morning i'm feeling mega tonight and i'm ready to absolutely rip it look as soon as i'm coming through i'm giving it the berries and putting the hurt on because I want it to hurt myself, like this has got to be a tough session. A little bit further on, down that long draggy section, we're now down to three men and it is going to get grippy now. But same again, I'm still feeling mega, so I'm thinking tonight's the night, I'm just going to put the hurt on, see what I can do. I'm not looking at power, you can see on my screen all I've got up is the map, so I'm just, I'm just going through, making it hurt, getting back in the train and going again and then i come through down here i'm going to leave this bit on i come through and all of a sudden i am in absolute no man's land no one comes through i'm left in no man's land where are they at they're leaving me out there trying to burn my legs in there you sneaky i'm just boys. out here looking for a wheel to suck sneaky sneaky where's ollie when you need him but then jumping back into it a little bit later we went up Bagwell Lane and then it was down to two and this is where it is full rip me and Ollie are trading blows now and I've there's no denying it we are both trying to destroy each other and we're both trying to drop each other that's what it's about so it starts off chilled this chain gang and then it is just every man for himself go like a bat out of hell and rip each other's legs off and this is where it gets it gets painful. Ollie's got some serious power. I mean, his calves, look at them. They're like my quads. <laughs> I'm a maggot compared to the man, but he was pulling through, doing some big turns, flick the elbow, then it was my turn, especially up here. Anytime there's a little incline, I'm thinking, I've got to put the hurt on the man. I've got to make the man hurt. Get him suffering, because when it's flat, that's when he can make me suffer. So we're just trading blows here and we're coming. So we're back down on the far section now. Same again, just it is, it's a two up TT now and it is balls to the wall. I'm feeling good. I'm putting out some big numbers. During the moment, I didn't have a clue what numbers I was putting out, but I was just giving it the berries. So last little bit, I'm getting a little drink in now because I know I'm about to go full numpty. Coming into Bagwell Lane, this is the kicker. I knew I wanted to go straight round Ollie, get on the front, and this was my chance, if any, to completely try and destroy him basically. So straight away I come round. Up here I'm gonna play this whole clip. I put the hurt on myself. I don't know if I put the hurt on Ollie, but I could tell you now, I had nothing more to give up here. This was full gas. My heart rate starts rising. I'm absolutely giving it everything I've got. Selling my soul up this climb because I'm thinking I've got to make him hurt now. I've really got to go balls out and see if I can actually drop him. And I killed my legs doing this when i got to the top i was in a world of hurt i'm not even gonna lie but i just got my head down absolutely buried myself 
all the way to the top and then I thought as soon as I get to the top move over flick the elbow hopefully he's not there and he was there and he pulled straight through and straight away bang he put the hurt on and luckily though this section I could just get in get a little bit of recovery in because we're on that downhill bit now so I'm trying to recover best I can because we've got like only a couple of minutes left so we got to the bottom I've come back through and I'm trying to put the hurt on again. I'm just full whack, selling my soul now, emptying the tank along here. And we came around the corner and this nearly destroyed me. Ollie came through like a bat out of hell. Look at the numbers I'm doing in the wheel. Like it's up that little riser. He tried to rip me to shreds here, but I was like, not tonight, my man. I'm still there, I'm flying but I was in a world of hurt. But managed to just cling on for dear life around this section. I knew we only had like, it was under probably a minute left of the chain gang. So come round the last corner, that was four laps of absolute ripping each other to bits. And that was the end of the chain gang. Oh boy, that's getting grippy. The big man was putting the hurt on. Little twig legs were like, ah! I was, I was only good for that short little climb. And then when it be... got on that flat section, I was like, I was holy shit. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky, sneaky input of power. Thinking, I can't show him, I'm adding it on. <laughs> and I didn't know if you're still there. I was trying to listen, you know, when you can't hear, you're like, is he there or is he not? I'm listening for anything, like a little panting of the breath or a clunk of the gears. No, but you were there. No panting from me. Yeah, you were Soft chilling. tapping. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> chilling. No, when I'd done the uh, little effort up, Bagwell Lane, I flicked the elbow, Ollie came through and I was in a <laughs> state. I'd gone way too deep up there. I'm oh, glad you did it, not me. Huh? I'm glad you did that bit, not me. <laughs> <laughs> That's the standard Mossa chain gang, starts all friendly, and then you've got to swing the chopper and see who's got it. And the maggots got it today. Yeah, just. <laughs> just, just. You were absolutely flying. You good, bud? Yeah, I was having to hide a little bit. Oh, oh. Jay, back to the fire. Enjoy that, bud. Yeah. He was doing the one, doing all the pulls, doing all the oh, surgeon. I was the hammer today. He was. I think we've got a um. PG went the other way. We've got a new surgeon in the club here, ladies and gentlemen. Mark Slocum, you're now retired from that nickname, <laughs> and Big G is the new surge master. Comes through with intent. Oh, to be fair, that, that, that one suits me because there is a little bit of, and that's the uh, same road that I use for all my training. All right. So uh, he's a pro. I know that. I know every little bump. So I've got my advantage. Nah, no, I'm hurting at the end. I'm hurting big time. That's a great workout. I thought, I thought Ollie was going to go for another lap, and I was like, we're not waiting for him to run. <laughs> I was going to go for another lap and G was like, not another one. <laughs> Dave said four laps, better wait for him. <laughs> well anyway G, it's nice to see you in a uh, club kit for once. <laughs> How are you going to explain that to your old man? He won't watch this one. I'll put him off the chain gang, he won't watch. So Dale, yeah, I had a chat with G, he said, you know. That's what it's all about. He wants to be I part of a proper thought. club now. Bitch, please. <laughs> I'm going to get some of them aero socks. It's 15 watts for aero socks. 15 watts for those bad boys. The Mossa aero socks. These get in the gates. I need every bit of help I can get. So back next week, G, or are you going racing again? Uh, oh, no, well, actually, I'll do a... I was planning on doing Goodwood next week, but I probably will do Chain Gang as well but there's potentially a stage race that weekend that oh, yeah, if yeah. the wife lets me do it, I want to be fresh for. So I don't know if I'll be uh, clinging on with Ollie this time. <laughs> That's exactly what I need though. When you've done a hard turn and then Ollie comes through, does another hard turn, it can destroy your soul a little bit. Here they are, feet up, couple of beers. <laughs> And that is a wrap on the Mossa Chain Gang World Champs. Legs suitably destroyed as expected, but absolutely mega. For me, 
doing sessions like that where you're just willing to go there, bury yourself, and you've got a carrot dangling like someone in front of you and you've got to just keep burying yourself, absolutely mega for me because I'm not like staring at my power meter. I'm just giving it the beans, seeing how much I can make myself hurt and the enjoyment of when you're feeling good, trying to make others hurt as well, as bad as that sounds, but that's what it's all about in a chain gang. But I hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one.